Hi everyone, hope you're keeping safe and well. Today I've got a story called The Flying Penguin. Mummy and Daddy Penguin looked lovingly at their new egg. They couldn't wait for it to hatch, but the egg did nothing. Then one icy morning the egg began to wriggle, squiggle and it started to crack. Soon little penguin came out. Cheep! cheeps little penguin. His mummy and daddy taught him lots of penguiny things like how to snuggle up close to keep warm and to eat up all his fish suppers to grow strong. Mum pushed him about and dad played catch with him. Up! As he grew, he and his chums enjoyed ice serving on their tummies for fun. But little penguin would not get into the water and learn to swim. He thought it looked too cold, too deep and much too wet. Come on in, the water's lovely, said dad. But little penguin wouldn't get in. Your feathers will keep you warm, said daddy penguin. It's quite toasty when you get used to it. But still, little penguin wouldn't get in. All penguins need to learn to swim, said the other penguins, but little penguin wouldn't get in. He played in the snow quite happily until one day when little seal asked him, what kind of animals are penguins? We're birds, replied little penguin, but little seal burst out laughing. You can't be a bird, he said, you can't fly. Little Penguin didn't know what to say. Now that's a bird, said Little Seal, looking up at a passing albatross. The albatross flew gracefully overhead and soared over the cliff tops with his great wings outstretched. Little Penguin had never seen anything so wonderful, if only he could do that. He tried flapping his wings as fast as he could. But nothing happened and his little feet stayed on the ground. Maybe you need to run really fast at the same time, suggested Little Seal. So Little Pen Penguin ran as fast as he could and flapped his wings with all his might at the same time. But nothing happened and his little feet still stayed firmly on the ground. Maybe you need to jump off something high just before you start flapping, suggested little Orca. So little Penguin hopped up to a snowy ledge and flapped his wings as he jumped off. This time he landed with a bump on the icy floor and hurt his bottom. Ouch! Little Penguin's bottom hurt so much that he dived right into the cool water to soothe it better. Oh. He opened up his wings and zoomed beneath the waves. Little Penguin suddenly found that he was flying. With his wings outstretched, he glided in the currents between cliff edges and soared over the top of underwater mountains. His dream had come true. I hope you enjoyed that story and we'll hope to see you soon.